This video includes both the jackals and the scorpions. Let's start with who are the jackals? They are a group of vault dwellers that emerged from Vault 15 during the spring of 2141. They called themselves the jackals, but who their founder and first leader was is unknown. Inside the vault, they were considered insane, and once outside, they only had one rule, survive. The Jackals are a cannibalistic, savage raider tribe found in the Mojave Wasteland. They earned this reputation after a bad winter storm that trapped them and forced them to feast on their own. This act of cannibalism became their defining trait of the tribe, even going as far as filing their teeth and turning them into canines. During this same winter year, they moved around the Mojave, attempting to establish themselves in the wasteland by raiding shady sands. The Jackals are also pure scavengers, relying on whatever firearm and armor they can find. Whatever gear they have is usually in a state of disrepair, so they generally use melee weapons, or they're simply unarmed. However, some will use basic firearms like 10mm pistols and cowboy repeaters. Most members also wear regular clothes with little to no armor, while their leaders tend to wear metal armor. They use group tactics to overwhelm their enemies, but due to a huge lack of coordination and cowardice, they instantly retreat if they feel they can't win. Most jackals are desperate to find food, leading them to death or retreating from combat, then coming back later just to claim the bodies. They also hate super mutants, as they consider them a waste of time. They tend to avoid them because they simply just can't eat them. They also salvage what they can, but because their lack of skills in anything but combat, this tends to them being violent and having a short lifespan. The jackals were a problem for many years, even though they came from the same vault as the cons and vipers. They find the cons less tolerable than the vipers, and the jackals even failed forming any positive relationship with the NCR. Around 2225, after the cons and NCR defeated and brutalized them, they fled New California, deeper into the hostile deserts of the Mojave. However, a few small isolated groups held out against the NCR. Around 2250, a small band of jackals under the leadership of Banshee attacked the Boulder Dome, a research facility in Boulder, Colorado, but they were driven away. However, they did manage to secure weapons and armor. The jackals then joined with Miles Reese and fought against the Brotherhood of Steel in Texas. Banshee's death in Fort Worth dispersed the tribe, marking an end to their history. But by 2281, they lost most of the unique aspects of their culture and banded themselves into small camps dotted across the landscape and hostile to all but themselves. Finally, who are the Scorpions? The Scorpions are a small band of raiders in the Mojave Wasteland. They are no different than any other raider gang in the Mojave. The Scorpions are primarily composed of petty upstarts that make caps through small-time camp peddling, mostly preying on the residents of Westside. They operate out of a crumbling budget hotel called the Monte Carlo Suites. The Monte Carlo Suites is a large building with a big neon sign on the roof to the western side. The building is decayed and has two blue wrecked trucks outside the entrance, while the interior is more or less well preserved. There is a demolished stairwell that denies access to the second floor. Not a lot of information exists, and what info you can get, you can get from Klamath Bob at his liquor store in Westside. What we do know is that the Scorpion Gang is located here with one guarding the front door and ran by Yvette, who constantly fights the local fiends but regularly loses those fights. They are usually armed with guns such as 10mm pistols, sawed-off shotguns, or 10mm submachine guns. They are also hold weak melee weapons like switchblades or lead pipes. One in the suites tends to carry a ripper, and the scorpions always tend to wear Merc cruiser outfits, and at close observation, they appear to be more sophisticated, having arranged sleeping quarters, dining rooms, children rooms, with most of the rooms containing a refrigerator that contains food, ovens, and various crates, as well as a workspace and a constant guard outside. <laughs>